Good services. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Great. I see that you're responding for the lower interest rate on your credit card. Correct. Yeah, before we get continued so I don't get disconnected, because I'm in a bad area, can you please give me your phone number so I can call back just in case I get disconnected from you? No. I'm just a qualification officer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just said no? <laughs> they said no. <laughs> that one was just funny. So let's call the number back, which we all know that it's a... Uh, fake number you guys got to go back and watch that one that one was funny Hold on. hold on that was hilarious he flat out told me no he wasn't gonna give me his number hello hello Yes, oh, hey, my name is uh, Jeff Jansen. I'm actually calling you because I think your number got what's called spoofed. And I got calls for credit card companies coming directly from this number. And you're not the person that just called me, yet it came from the number. And so your number got spoofed. Um, I, apo I apologize, but you might want to call your phone company and let them know. It's called spoofing. The scammers use other people's phone numbers pretending they're you. And they call and then they try to scam people. And this is the number that came through to me. No, 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 that's okay. That means that means they hacked into your phone number. And I'm just saying that you may want to call whoever your phone company is and tell them that your number is being used for scams. Meaning you don't know about it because it's called spoofing. Yeah. It's kind of sucks. Well, well, a actually, it, it's not the cell phones. It's the uh, two one seven two 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 numbers from Quincy. Um, this number I'm actually calling you on is a is a is a landline, and it's two 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 three three eight five. And they called that number, and that way they actually think it's somebody that um, that you know. And it's kind of funny because this this number has been in my dad's name for over seventy years, and. Um, it came, and like I said, and right now the caller ID came up with uh, your phone number. And uh, the thing about it is it's not you calling. I deal in identity theft for a living, so I always call the numbers back to let anybody know that their number is being used in what's called spoofing. They piggyback. They use your number to scam people, and then when we call it back, it's the real, the real person answers the phone. Believe it or not, they actually do it with bank phone numbers also, and they do it with the uh, government phone numbers. And so when you call it back, you think it's a legit call because you call back the actual number. And it's actually not them. And they, that's the reason why everybody's warning, do not, when you, do not give any information out. So if anybody calls you with a 222 number and they're trying to sell you something, don't give any of your information out, okay? All right, but make sure to call up Comcast or AT&T, whoever you've got, and let them know that this number, and what they'll do is they'll block the spoofing people for you, and um, that'll fix it right away so your number's not used anymore for the scams. All right, well, thanks. Thanks. Have a good, good one. God bless, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye. So once again, they called back spoofing somebody else's phone number, and as you can see, he had no clue what's going on. So once again, don't give out any information, everybody.